Well, hello there, everybody. And today, our kingdom is falling because we're going to be checking out Siege Survival Glory of Victus. This is a new genre-blending medieval game that takes inspiration from survival, strategy, and resource management games. In Siege Survival, you play the role of the few remaining citizens of a massive kingdom under siege. You must explore the kingdom's ruins by night to find resources to survive in a world that has been battered to pretty much nothing due to war. This video is sponsored by Siege Survival, so I want to thank them for supporting the channel. If while watching you want to know more about the game, I'll have a link at the top of the video description where you can check it out. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of the story mode, checking out the starting of the game, and doing our best to survive as the few remaining citizens. Now let's get into it and check it out. And welcome to the grim beginnings, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the sixth day of summer in the year 1205 in the wonderful kingdom of Midland. We were just starting the harvest when the Ismers struck out of nowhere, catching us off guard. Horns of war sounded throughout Edring, and the smoke-filled city streets ran red with blood of its citizens. The savage warriors of Cargald had invaded our home. The town guard fought bravely, but the Ismers were too many. Before long, the raiders were in the main square and the city center stood in flame. All we could do was send a messenger out to summon aid. While outnumbered, guards focused on protecting the fleeing citizens or workers salvaging supplies. So yes, I should quickly mention this is just a very brief introduction into what's going on. And I believe based on your decisions, it will give you different types of resources and whatnot. So I'm going to say workers salvaging supplies. Knowing the fate of the castle depends on food stocks, the guards gave their lives to help salvage as much as possible. The Izmers overran the city, murdering anyone who didn't escape in time. Then they prepared their war engines, smashing the gate connecting the town and castle. We thought things couldn't get any worse when... I'm gonna give them a monstrous figure. The Cargalders were led by the infamous Nameless Champion. Nothing I'd seen in my whole life was more terrifying than this beast-like figure. The castle, the only part of Edring still uncaptured, was now under siege, and it was up to us to support our soldiers as they fight to stave off the enemy until relief comes. The Bastion must hold. And this is so interesting to me. I've never seen a game that focuses on the losing side of battle. And that's why I'm so engaged by this. So yes, we start off with good old Flint. That's all I have at my disposal right now. And it wants me to talk to the man on the wall. You recognize the man before you. It's Bertram, a local carpenter. You're relieved to see he survived. It's clear, however, the events of the last day have scarred him in some terrible way. Let's examine him, see what's going on. As you check him for wounds, you notice something. His tightly clenched hand, it's a small scorched doll. You suddenly realize this man just lost his family. Wow, what a way to start a game, you know? There's nothing you can do for this kind of pain. Still, perhaps a warm meal might snap him out of his state of shock. All right, so we got to make a stump and saw horse out of the little that we have around this place. So hopefully we can find what we need in this these rubble piles. Looks like we got some pigs at least, some chickens. Not much else. All right, and we still got this building as well, the storehouse, where it looks like we can do the majority of our crafting. So we'll get the stump with saw horse for the start. And this is where we can put it down. Now, this is pretty cool. The blue is basically saying this is a safe zone from attacks because we are still under siege, you got to remember. So if we put anything in the yellow, it runs the risk of being hit. So let's try and keep as much as we possibly can safe uh, by the uh, defense of our wall. All right, so we got the firewood. Now it looks like we got some food here. And back to our storehouse to build our first fireplace. Again, we're just going to kind of have uh, most of our stuff over here. I'm scared to put anything here because I don't know how often we're going to be attacked. I really don't want to screw around right now, especially considering I have one unit. And once Flint dies, I'm a goner. Unless this guy will join me, I'm pretty sure he will, hopefully, when we feed him. All right, let's get you some food, bud. Um, all right, we're going to craft that. All right, Bertram, hopefully this will cheer you up. I understand your family just died, but, you know, life gets better. Enjoy a delicious stew. Oh, now he needs a bed. Come on, Bertram, you need everything, buddy. I'm just kidding. Of course we need a bed. I mean, that would be smart. All right, looks like this is an ally, of course, or he'd be killing me by now, so it's good it's an ally, at least. The soldier standing before you covered in blood, his eyes dim with exhaustion. So he's letting me know the Ismers will attack soon. We must resupply before it happens. Then he reveals that a group of soldiers is searching through the city as well, but they still haven't come back. That's why he needs your help. What do you need? We need arrows, he says. Of course, it would take days to craft them from scratch, but how about the boyer's workshop in the city? That's your chance. 
Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to... Oh, that's already nighttime. Okay, so this is where the game changes. Day and night are totally different. You scavenge at night, and then during the day, you deal with crafting, resource management, and whatnot. So we're going to scavenge the city. Flint, he's sad right now, but he's ready to go. Okay, so we can sneak around all slow, or we can run, and you can actually see... That's really cool that it shows, like, your, your sound stage. So I'm assuming we can definitely be attacked out here. We're not in the safety of our walls anymore. So hopefully uh, we don't get attacked right away. Let's go talk to this guy and see. I thought I was talking to that guy, but he's hanging from a tree. Ah, uh, yes, this is the workshop. Time passes, but you can't find any. Just as you're about to give up, you spot a flash in the dark under a broken roof beam. Could it be? All right, we got the arrows. Well, that's not good. Uh, when we grab them, the dislodged beam collapses on top of us with all of its weight. It takes you ages to get free. As you leave the workshop, you see something's changed. Oh, the corpse in the tree has been taken down? An old woman leans over the body in its shade of the tree. She's sobbing, exhausted. You guess she must be his mother. Man, this, <laughs> this is so real already. She had risked her life to cut her son down and bury him in a shallow grave. The woman struggles to move him but she hurts herself with the axe under his belt. So I can either take the axe from the poor lady or help bury the corpse. You know, I do need a good axe. It's very tempting, but I'm already depressed enough. Let's help her. Maybe she'll join us. Once the corpse is buried, she gives you a small sack and silently walks away into the dark. Oh, I always enjoy it when I get a small sack. We did get the arrows, but we need mater materials to build a bed for uh, Bertram as well. All right, we got everything but the cloth. I don't think cloth would be in hay. I want to make sure I can get this by the end of today. I have one spot left, so I got to look for actual cloth. This, I mean, it looks like there's possibly cloth here, so let's go for this. Yeah, there we go. That actually worked out perfect. We got the cloth. All right, and I am full inventory, I think. So yeah, let's get back and call it a night. Ah, he's feeling much better. The loss of the family has had a crushing impact on him, and only time can fully heal it. Nonetheless, the carpenter has recovered from shock and is ready to rejoin the fight. We should take care of the animals and find fresh water. Yeah, that would be a good idea. We kind of need to eat and drink, you know? Um, so it looks like, yes, we do have him on our team now. All right, let's examine that well. Hopefully we can use it. Looks like the pens are open now, so we should be getting a little bit of food. Uh, sadly to no avail. The well's base has been crushed by the trebuchet projectile. The shaft itself is blocked and there's no way you can clear it out before dying of thirst. Great. All right, things just keep getting better for us. Perhaps you can find some potable water in the city. It's risky, but it's the best chance you have. Okay, so we don't have any easy access of water. Fantastic. Um, we gotta send arrows to the bastion, so let's do that. And I gotta say, this premise of this game is so cool. I've never played a game where I'm a simple villager and you're dealing with the upkeep of war. So you don't actually use the warriors at all, but you gotta make sure they're obviously weaponized. So we currently have 12 that are ready to fight. Looks like we have five axes, two bows. I'm assuming we can craft that stuff later on. We're not that far yet, but we got some arrows for those guys. So you can just send those directly over. They also don't have enough melee weapons. So we might want to start working on that next, but I mean... I mean, I'm starting out here, so I'm only going to do as much as I can. But yeah, basically, we pile those things up, send them to the front lines of war, and work on surviving ourselves inside. So let's get that bed set up. This thing's blinking. I'm thinking, yes, that's where I need to build my bed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Flint's also damaged, so let's see if we can grab a bandage. We can do a makeshift bandage, so we'll grab that. Hopefully that heals him up from his damage last night. All right, so Flint's sleeping. I got Bertram rummaging through this thing here it's taking forever but it's almost nighttime so we're gonna go out with him and gold tonight's to find some clean water for us obviously because you know that's kind of the main source of survival and and well in life in general okay well that worked out we see a barrel raid here i mean it could just be wood i i honestly don't know where water comes from but can we get lucky get a first try hell yes we can there we go we got clean water we still need a little bit more and hopefully as we clear these pathways, we can get to more different areas as well. You can actually open the map to see um, what we're looking at. So we got event in the city. You know what? Let's head that way. But yeah, it looks like this square is our loot zone right now. All right. Well, here's the event. Oh, I see water over here, actually. You approach the city gate from the market to the harbor. It would be an incredibly convenient shortcut for your nightly journeys. The door ever is solid and definitely shut. I need a key. Okay, but where could it be? So there's got to be a key somewhere around here. But yeah, maybe there's not going to be enough clean water here. Hopefully there is. This one's blinking, so this has to be something good. Oh, shovel. I know I need the, sh the shovel for a lot of things, so that's huge. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Just the right amount, too. 
All right, I think I need the shovel for this. Yes, there we go. You can see I'm using the shovel. And this is how we're going to unlock new paths. I can definitely get up and loot whatever's over here once I grab this. I'm assuming this is going to be a resource too, though. Oh, great. We just got a thing for enemy patrols. The enemy guards patrol the city at night. Avoid their attention to remain undetected. Oh, yeah, I can actually see one over there. Okay, so let's just stay at our little safe haven for the time being until we loot it all. And great, my, my shovel is already broken. It's done one thing, and it's broken. Okay, I'm gonna run a risk in daytime. Patrols patrol more of the city. I wanna grab or get some full inventory though. So it's looking like daytime is quickly coming. There we go, that should be enough. We're actually full inventory, so we can't get the fibers, but that's fine. And now I'm just gonna go back and we should get there hopefully by daytime. I love this though. It's got elements of stealth based games as well. There's just, there's just a nice blend of everything in this game. Oh God, an enemy salt approaches. All right, let's get some water in you. Good job, Bertram. There we go. And he's all good. He's just tired. So I think I'll let him sleep throughout the day. And Flynn should be healed and rested. Now he's dying of thirst. Literally dying. Oh my God, I can't even run with him. Okay, let's let's get some water in you, bud. Uh, oh God, is the battle going on right now? Yep, I would say a red zone's a bad thing. Okay, drink, man, so we can run around. Please, for the love of God, drink. <laughs> This is great. I can loot their trebuchet shots. Now, everything should be safe here, except maybe Bertram, who might be able to get hit. But overall, looks like we're okay. This is so cool. I should probably head over here just to play it safe. You know what? Let's finish up what Bertram was working on. You can also see, like, there's a battle strength here. So you have allies and enemy strength. Are they going down at the exact same time? Ooh, okay. So that's like a turn base. Okay, I got it. And look at that. We got some more arrows for them from that rummage. So that was hard to get, but definitely worth it. Uh, battle's ended. Okay, let's see what this gives us. Oh, God. What the? You lied to me. You lied to me. Oh, it's a good thing. That was a little bit of ways. Okay. <laughs> now it's officially ended. So they used all their arrows. All right. And we got some rocks from that. Let's go to the pigsty here. See what that's working with. Ah, fertilizer. Maybe we can get into farming then. That's pretty cool. And let me guess. Eggs? Indeed. Okay, and the stone can be used to patch walls, so I don't know what I need it for, so let's just give it to them to make sure they're good, and then we'll give them those arrows as well to help them out. Oh, dude, I feel like I'm actually helping in this game. It's fantastic. Looks like Bertram's awake as well, so I don't really know what else we can do right now. I guess we can get into some crafting. Let's see what else we can possibly make here. All right, so we can build a workbench. Uh, that might be the thing that I want. We can also preserve meat with a dryer and have a butcher's table. Thing is, don't really know what meat I'm going to be able to get besides the two pigs I have, and I feel like they're more useful for fertilizer. So yeah, let's build that workbench. Okay, the workbench can create tools, torches, a bundle of arrows. Now I need iron for that. I think it said from the stump I can make iron possibly. No, I was wrong on that. I think to upgrade it. Yeah, you need iron to upgrade it. I, I didn't think a stump could make iron, but um, yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm going to get that. I'm assuming it's part of this. Oh, there's a repair workshop in here. It might be something I need to unlock later on. This might be it. I need to upgrade to a storehouse too, though. But I think we're far away from iron making. Let's just get our bases here. And another night. Um, Flint's a little hungry. He's got nine inventory spaces, though. So I feel like he'll be better for scavenging the city. That being said, I don't know if they share tools or not. Because I know Bertram had my um, shovel. I mean, worst case, we waste one night. Let's get uh, Bertram to sleep. And hopefully we can maybe unlock a new passageway as well. Maybe one doesn't need a key. Be great if we could find that key, too. All right, we do got some new loot, probably from the trebuchets that happened today. I got to figure out how to make a torch because I want to burn those corpses to grab, grab whatever loot is up here. Yeah, I've looted the whole place, so we're just going to head back. I wonder if he'll sleep through the rest of the night if we get back early. It's Galvic again. He looks even worse for wear than before. The last fight must have been intense. He tells you there are wounded soldiers after Izmir's assault. The defenders desperately need bandages. Also, their weapons need repair. And that's not the worst of it. Scouts have seen soldiers of the Sangmar Empire to the south. Sangmar is the Sangmarian fleet here to attack our lands. Oh, we're being attacked by two people now. Great. Are they going to strike the Izmirs? Hopefully the Izmirs. Okay, there's never good news in this game. Thankfully, in the night was calm. Hopefully, the day's calm as well. Oh, can I actually eat those pigs? I don't know if I should eat the pigs or not. Let's actually build a new bed, too. We should have, yeah, more than enough resources for that. Okay, so they sent me a damaged axe. It can be re repaired at the workshop. Isn't that what I built? I think I built that, right? This is a workshop. That oh, was a workbench. I don't think that's a workshop, is it? Damn it. All right, but that's where I do torches as well, so perfect. Um... 
Upgrade to bed. I can't make the spade. I need the spade, man. Okay, so I need tools to upgrade this. So we might want to actually upgrade that. There's a lot we need to do right now, though. We got to focus more on our bastion than anything else. Uh, they requested water. All right, so yeah, they're, they're, there's their water. They don't have much food either. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll give you guys a bandage. I can make more. What, what else do we have? Our soldiers don't have enough melee weapons or arrows. All right, well, I'm going to do my best. We'll send that for now. We might send more today. Oh, damn it. I, I needed those fibers to build tools. Fortunately, I built that second bed. That was a mistake because I used all my fibers on that. And I need those tools to build the herbal workshop, which is what they want me to build next. Um, I guess I could prep the planks at least. I could also possibly build them some meals. Yeah, let's get them two meals. Oh, crap. I don't, I don't have enough for two. I have enough for one. It's the best I can do, boys. Oh, my God. Then you do have to feed the freaking animals. They're both starving. Um, oh my god. <laughs> I have to caretake everybody. I mean, it's not much, but hey, it's something. I'm trying my best, damn it. The chickens are also starving, so what What can I feed them? Oh, thankfully, green and herbs. Oh, where did I get the thing? I, I, I think I needed that for the herb shop, right? No, I needed that for the um, repair tools, I believe it was. Let me see. Yes! Aha! But now I have decisions to make. Do I do the repair workshop or the herbal workshop? I feel like the repairs will make more sense because they need weapons. Repair workshop's gonna take more planks, but yeah, I think we'll do that first because then we can get uh, axes and light armor for our troops. All right, night has come. Both are hungry, slightly sick. Actually, should I even scavenge? Maybe I should just sleep tonight because I need the shovel to unlock the new pathway. There might be a little bit of loot out there, but I don't think there's going to be enough. So let's just both sleep, be well rested for tomorrow. Oh, these need to be processed on the butcher's table. So we do need a butcher's table. Oh, I gave all my vegetables to the stupid pigs. All right, finally, we got the repair workshop. Uh, I think the soldiers will be happy about that. And we're going to have to cook that carcass piece as well. We should have a little bit of that. Does it actually show? I have one piece, yeah. Uh, it's still fresh, though. These things can spoil. So let's get the firewood and cook that, hopefully. Actually, we should probably do that now. Let's just cancel this, because we can always do that whenever we want. So I need two firewood for that. So we'll grab the firewood. All right, we'll repair that axe. Oh my god, I need planks for that. <laughs> Why do I need planks for an axe? Take that. Oh, okay. We'll grab... I just need one plank. That's all I need. All right, and I should be able to make a meal. I, I can make one meal. The thing is, <laughs> the Bastion needs meals, but so do I. So it's like, what do I do? I clearly ate way too many eggs at the start. You really got to turn those things into meals. All right. Craft that axe. Hopefully, we can get that done by the end of today. Oh, at least we got one meal. Who should eat it, though? They're both a freaking starving. I'm, I'm gonna eat it. I don't care. Okay, we should be okay for food for Bertram for a while. And we got the axe done as well, so let's not waste time. Get Bertram on that. You really don't want to waste time during this phase. And here is your axe. I did something good today. Okay, and I can craft more meals. Thank God. Uh, it's looking like it's gonna be nighttime, but we should be okay. We're not starving, at least. All right, night has come. Flint's starving, so he can sleep. Uh, Bertram's doing totally fine, so I, I'm gonna go out. I don't know if we're gonna find anything, though, because I don't think... Well, we have the torch, so let's grab that. I guess that shovel totally broke, and I know we gotta upgrade that station to get that, but let's at least do the torch thing. And hopefully that unlocks some really good loot, because I, I need all the help I can get. All right, so if we burn these corpses, please tell me there's something amazing up there. Okay, we got herbs and more wood. Not really what I wanted to see. I need I, I, I need metal. I, I need weapons. I need tools. Give me a shovel. Come on. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll take light armor. Better than nothing. Oh, actually, that's right. I totally forgot I opened this. All right, let's try and do some stealth. All right, so he's walking far away now. I can search this. This is fantastic. I totally forgot I opened this up. I don't think I can get down there, though, but, I mean, better than nothing. Oh, actually, okay, so it's just rubble, so yeah, I can get down here. All right, so we're just gonna take our time here, not run around at all. That would be a death wish. And let's see what we can find here. Give me give me some herbs. Ah, vegetables, perfect. Oh, God, this, this was great. This is exactly what I needed. Oh, no! How do I have a full inventory? All right, we're gonna have to drop some of that wood. We don't need wood. Oh, well, we need everything, but I need herbs more. Hopefully I can collect those resources later. If that's the case, that's actually amazing. All right, you know what? Being full inventory, I don't think it's smart to stay around here. So once this patrol leaves, we're just gonna head away. Okay, and we're back at the safety of the square. Okay, just run home, run. All right, and a new day. Okay, so we are going to resume work on cooking. 
Uh, try and get as much done as we possibly can. This guy's starving right now, so I need to get him some meals. I need to stop eating these. That's what I did. That's what I did wrong at the start. I ate all my raw resources. Not a good idea, but at least we learned before we died. All right, place is under siege once again. Thankfully, you know, we're in the safety of the wall here, so we should be okay. Oh my god. Oh god. Get in, get in, get in. I expected trebuchets. I didn't expect arrows, so let's just... Pigs, get inside. I, I actually need you guys. Okay, and another battle has ended. Well, it's looking pretty good for us right now. So that's that's great. We also got that gear, so we'll repair that. Um, Yeah, we actually got some food now as well. Actually, how much did I make? I think I made three. So we can definitely fill ourselves up and send some to the Bastion as well. But yeah, I think this is a good time to uh, end off this episode, guys. So this was Siege Survival Gloria Victus. I gotta say, it feels so cool being on, you know, a struggling side of war. Uh, I, again, I haven't played a game like this before, so let me know if you guys want to see more, because uh, I am thoroughly enjoying this. And yeah, if you guys want to see more, I'll definitely do more. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.